Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. Here we're going to solve this problem. We have a triangular piece of metal. Uh, we've got some points of interest A, B, and C. And at point C, we have two forces acting uh, 800 pounds, 500 pounds, and this, these are appropriate angles here. Uh, and the distances are in inches. So in this particular problem, we're doing in inches and pounds. The calculations are exactly the same as what you would do if you were dealing in newtons and meters. So we're just mixing the units up. Now we want to find two things. We want to figure out what, what is the moment of force F1 about point A. And then separately, we want to figure out what is the moment of force F2 about point B. So already we're breaking the problem apart. How much of a moment does F1 impart uh, about this point as far as how, uh, to turn it? And how much of a moment is this guy going to impart on B? Now before doing anything else, you should realize that you know, if we're just looking at the moment that F1 is, is uh, producing about A, and F1 is like this, if you stick a nail here, F1 is going to try to spin the thing like this, which is counterclockwise, which is a positive moment. So we expect a positive moment for the first part of the answer. And how much moment is this guy trying to exert or, or uh, introduce into uh, axis of rotation B? It's going to try to pull it and spin it this way, which is a clockwise rotation, which is a negative moment. So one of our answers should be positive, another of our answers should be negative. Also, since this is a two-dimensional problem, all of the forces are in the xy plane. All of the uh, uh, moment arms, the r vectors, are also going to be in the xy plane. So when you take your cross product of two vectors, r cross f, the moment or the cross product is always perpendicular to the plane containing the two vectors you're crossing. So what it means is, since this is in the plane of the board, the moments are either going to be uh, coming out of the board or going into the board. One will be a positive, one will be a negative. We already know that one of these answers is going to rotate one way and one of them is going to rotate the other way. So without doing any calculations, just by looking at it, you can kind of determine that one of these moments is going to be in the positive k direction and one of the moments is going to be in the negative k direction because the moments have to be coming in or out of the board and one of them is going to spin one way and the other answer is going to spin the other way. We've already determined that without doing anything. So. You could do this in a scalar fashion. You could break this up into X and Y components and figure out what it does uh, on, in terms of rotating about A. And you could split this into X and Y components and do the same thing in B, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do uh, the vector calculations. So the moment about point A due only to force F1 is going to be equal to whatever radius vector from here to there is crossed with force 1. Now again, I want to caution you to know that when we say uh, r cross f, this vector, in this case, we're going to be taking it from a all the way up 